So I'm not a baker, I'm not a chef. I really don't enjoy cooking in the slightest. So you may have noticed on my punch needle frame, there is like a big square going on. And that is because I am making a punch needle mirror. I have made a couple of them before, but I've only done circles. So this is my first square. I am really excited. This is gonna be the biggest one I've done yet. But yeah, I filmed most of the process of just getting the design down and I am making just like a little short form video of it. So if you wanna see, like a more in-depth process on making the mirror. You can go check out the TikTok whenever I post that. I may also post it to YouTube Shorts, so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I'm gonna get cozy, curl up on the couch, and just get some punch needling done. And that will probably be what I do for the rest of the day. I just got a really exciting package, so I thought we'd open it together. It is from The Cold Hearted Co. And fun fact, her name is also Allie. I feel like there's so many like Allies in the small business world, which is so weird because growing up, I didn't meet a whole lot of Allies and now they're just, they're everywhere and I love it. I follow her on Instagram, so I will put her Instagram on the screen so you can go check out her shop as well. She was doing a really awesome sale. She did buy one get one free for her little cup koozies and I have been really wanting one that will fit my grande drinks. So I got this cute little pink one. I have this empty cup that was just sitting on my desk because why wouldn't I have an empty cup sitting on my desk? So we're gonna test them out. Cute. Iced coffee season is every season and mood i got some stickers i think she has the cutest stickers we've got give yourself a break abundance is a mindset it will be all right and then tomorrow needs you i will do a little close-up of those in case they didn't focus these are so cute thank you so much ali definitely go check out her shop I don't even really like Duncan, but it's free coffee Monday, so you best believe I'll drink it if it's free. I'm currently in the process of making my biggest, most detailed project yet with my laser cutter, and we are 22 minutes into the process, and I am so excited to see how it comes out. I am making one of these little Stanley Cup dupes. It's a purple cup, though. Um, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so cute. Filming it over on TikTok. I didn't really film any of it over here. I feel like I say that all the time at this point, but it's just easier to like whip out my phone and film like a short little video than remember to pull out my camera and film this. So, but anyways, I will show you how it comes out. I'm just, I'm very excited. I really wanna start making more things with the laser cutter. I feel like I haven't really done a ton with it since I've gotten it. So yeah, I, I have a little bit of extra time lately because my orders have been a little bit slower, which is kind of a good thing because it gives me time to do other things. I feel like when I have so many orders coming in, all I'm doing is punch needling. I don't have any time to make any new products or do anything other than punch needling. So I'm taking advantage of this time. I do still have some orders I need to work on later. So that is on the to-do list, but right now, I'm doing something for myself and for the content, <laughs> but mostly for myself. Oh, also, I just realized I forgot to show you 
the mirror that I made the other day, the little punch needle one. I think I started showing you like the start of the process, but then I kind of just stopped filming. So I'm gonna go get that so you can see. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry if it's so loud. Like between the laser cutter going and this helicopter that is flying around outside, I feel like the background of this is gonna be a nightmare to edit, but here's our mirror. I think it came out so cute. Here's you, say hi. Um, yeah, here she is. Here's the back. I just put some pink felt to cover it up. And yeah, I really, really love this one. This is the first square one that I did. The other ones have been circles. My one concern with this one though is I used a glass mirror and for the other ones I used non-glass mirrors. So I really don't know how I would go about shipping this because if it were to break in the mail, it's basically useless. I can't really reuse this because taking it off the mirror would kind of tear it apart a little bit. So I'm scared to ship them. And I also have not delved into the world of pop-ups. So I don't quite know what to do with this one. I might just keep it for myself, but I want to be able to sell them because I showed like a little sneak peek on my Instagram and so many people were interested in it. So I don't know. If you have any suggestions on how to ship a mirror, let me know. I really wanna make another one. So as soon as I am caught up with my orders, you best believe, I will be making some more mirrors and I also have another idea for a tote bag, so. Lots of ideas stirring in this brain, not enough time to execute them. Now that I'm feeling a bit more confident with these, I'm gonna show you how I make my punch needle mirrors. These are some of the ones I've already made, but I will put in little close-ups so you can see those. Um, I've already got the punch needling done on these two, so if you're interested in that part of it, I have a ton of videos on punch needling, or let me know if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on that. But basically the first thing I do after punching it all out and cutting everything is I hot glue the edges down and add the little mirror. So uh, this one isn't done yet, so we're going to do this one together, and then we'll add the backing on both of these and all that fun stuff. <laughs> just along the edges just to make sure it's sealed in there extra good it's not going to come out not that it could after we put on the backing but just to ensure that the mirror stays adhered to the punch needle part there's not going to be any lifting on the front i like to just seal it in there extra good doesn't matter how ugly it looks back here because it's all going to get covered up anyways this next step is probably my least favorite part of this entire process, but now we're going to attach some cardboard to the back just to make it a little extra sturdy. So for this, I kind of just lay it on here, cut around it, and then I'll make it just a little bit smaller than this so that way we can seal it completely so that you're not seeing any of that ugly cardboard on the finished product. So let's just get it over with. Honestly. I just hold it up to the cardboard and start cutting. It doesn't really matter how it looks because it's just going to be sealed under the backing anyways. As long as it's not like too small, it doesn't really matter. I always try and err on the side of too big because you can always take more off, but you cannot add more on. So. The 
Okay, this should be perfect. You can see that there's just like a little bit of an edge around the cardboard, but that it fills up most of the mirror. So that's exactly what you want. All right, I'm gonna try and do the same thing with the strawberry one. I feel like it's probably gonna be a little bit harder because of the weird shape, but I have faith. I feel like it's going okay. You know what? Looking at it, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. This cardboard is not easy to cut. Yeah! You did it. Okay, now, just glue them on. Now we're gonna go ahead and seal the backs. So I'm just gonna pick the closest color I can find to the main color of the mirror. It doesn't have to be exact. Honestly, this part isn't even really necessary. I just think it adds an extra special little touch. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my colors and then we'll seal the backs up. So I'm thinking this orange for the orange one, I think that matches pretty well. Um, and then for the strawberry one, I did not have any felt that matches this pink color. So I picked either this like corally pink to go with it or red. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with. I think this one. I'd like to say this step is the last of hot gluing, but sadly it is not. Um, it's just a whole lot of hot gluing for punch needle projects. Um, after I attach the backings and seal up the cardboard and add a little thing to hang them on the wall, none of them have them yet. I just ordered them and they just came in. So that is the next step. One last little tip. Sorry, not done talking. Um, if you can see this one has like a weird coloring around the edges and that's because I put the hot glue directly on the felt. So I would recommend putting the hot glue on here and then sticking the felt to it like that. Um, this one, I'll end up selling at a discount just because it has that weird marking on the back, but when I did it the other way, you can see these ones don't have that, so. Just a little tip if you're planning on making these yourself. I ordered these little D-rings on Amazon, so I'm hoping that I can use these to hang the mirrors. Um, it comes in a pack of 30. They're kind of bigger than I was thinking that they were, so I was gonna do like two per mirror, but I think, honestly, I think we could probably get away with just doing one. My camera died earlier when I was finishing up the backs of the mirrors, so I just finished them up and hung them on the wall back there. These are ones that I'm planning on selling, but I'm just going to keep them up there until they sell, just because they look cute. Um, but yeah, I'll take off the back so you can see how they turned out. So I'm not a baker, I'm not a chef, I really don't enjoy cooking in the slightest, but we're gonna be trying to make a banana bread today. I made an apple bread last week and it actually was pretty good. So 
thought that I would give this recipe a try. It's my great Nana's recipe. My mom came to visit a couple weeks ago and she made some for me and my husband. It is one of my favorite things ever. So my husband also loved it and he asked me if I could make some for us again. Um, and this is the first time I've ever made it. So let's hope this goes well because I really don't want to butcher her recipe. Um, and also, I just really want it to taste good. So, I need six bananas. So, we will start with that. I'm just going to mash those up in the bowl. Cue the time lapse. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is a no cane bar. It's an awful house and I want it to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To come down Oh, nothing feels the same without you like I'm doing something wrong because the butter just looks so weird like it's not fully mixed in it looks like a little bit chunky it's not like expired it's not bad um and if you're a baker maybe that's just like a normal thing and I'm just sounding silly right now but it just looks super unappetizing and I think maybe it just wasn't like soft enough maybe it was just a little too cold because it was in the fridge but I don't know hopefully it still tastes good i know it's gonna melt like when it cooks so i don't think it's like a big deal but it just looks super unappetizing at the moment because nothing feels the same I added three loaf pans to my grocery order this morning because I only have just the one glass one and I wanted to make two banana breads. Um, but they accidentally gave me two of them. So I guess we're gonna have to make some more banana bread if this goes well. banana bread is done and it smells amazing the whole house smells so good I will say I'm a little confused because the coloring is like a little bit different than how it looks when my mom makes it so I hope that I did it right I followed the recipe exactly but maybe she makes some little tweaks of her own but I'm very excited to try them when they cool off and Hopefully they're good. I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated. I just got my new stickers in and I'm so excited to show you. It has been literally over a year since I have ordered any new stickers. So this is very exciting for me. I did only order a couple of each design because honestly stickers are not one of my best sellers anymore. And I also didn't know which designs would be most popular. So I figured I could just order a few of each. Um, and then see what sells best and then order a restock of whatever sells best so yeah i'm going to show you all the new stickers um by the time you're seeing this they'll already be up on my shop unless they've sold out in which case i will hopefully be restocking any of the ones that have sold out by then so <laughs> And 
this was totally unnecessary but i ordered a new laptop case and it's supposed to get here today so i'm very excited about that i thought i could use it to make a little video just like applying some of my new stickers so it's technically a business expense i'm using it for content but also i get to decorate a new laptop case so as if I didn't need any more reason to love sticker blitz. They also gave me a ton of extras, like way more than I ordered. So that was a really nice. I also just really love the quality and the pricing is super good. Um, so I always recommend sticker blitz to anyone who asks. And yeah, it's 10 out of 10 every time. <laughs> It is not as good as the one my mom makes so i'm gonna either have to keep practicing or ask her if she strays from the recipe at all because this does not taste the same it's good but it's not great anna's recipe i mean it is but it don't taste right i'm gonna still eat both those loaves though and i'm gonna love it I'm filming this before I'm actually stopping filming for this vlog because I don't want to forget to film an outro. I always forget to film an outro. So here is our outro. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Find me on social media. I will put my username on the screen. It's the same everywhere, Ali Blair Co. Um, and yeah, let's be friends. Leave me a comment. Let's chat like this video, do all the things to help me out. I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel and it's been really hard because I don't have a ton of time to put into videos. So I upload like once a month if we're lucky, but there is no but. <laughs> Thanks for watching.